One major result of the Hamas attack and subsequent war in Gaza has been an alarming rise in anti-Semitism, notably from the left in America. From student groups on college campuses. Go back to Poland! Go back to Germany! To Jews attacked at rallies. With groups like Democratic Socialists of America promoting pro-Hamas rallies, it's left progressive Jews wondering what's going on in their world. To be clear, you are not a feminist if you can't feel for the Israeli civilian women, children, and babies who were murdered. And so I'm very angry about what I'm hearing. This week, we entered the upside down world when a retrograde, regressive, totalitarian, misogynistic, messianic terrorist regime became, for the time being, the hero of the left. How could it be? It shouldn't come as a complete surprise. A Harvard-Harris poll shows 36% of liberals see the Hamas attack on Israeli civilians as justified. Among 18 to 24-year-olds, a majority, 51%, say the killings could be justified. Overall, Gallup shows Democrats are more sympathetic to the Palestinians than the Israelis, 49% versus 38%. Democrat strategists like Joel Rubin believe if the left abandons progressive Jews who love Israel, there will be a political price. If you kick out the Jews from the Jews who care about Israel, from progressive coalitions, the, these progressive coalitions will have no political power and they will go down the rabbit hole of looking like anti-Semites. One should be able to support Israel and being Jewish and still be progressive. But that is now becoming a litmus test in progressive coalitions. Historically, anti-Semitism has existed worldwide in these circles. The National Socialist Nazi Party, they were, they were left of center. You know, the textbook definition of socialism is the state controls the means of production and distribution. And that is what Hitler advocated. Today, liberal Jews break bread with the left on issues of abortion, gay and transgender rights, as well as overall social justice. A split grows, however, between the left and Israeli supporting Jews when it comes to defending Palestinians and terrorists. I am somewhat shocked that people would embrace Hamas because there's nothing progressive about Hamas, right? They, this idea you have queers for Hamas or feminists for Hamas when they would kill these people or, you know, force them not to drive or not to work if they're women uh, is, is just bizarre. Caroline Glick, contributing editor for the Jewish News Syndicate, sees that leading liberal Jews to fight back. You're seeing a lot of Jews who major donors to universities, uh, pulling their donations, quitting boards um, and, and other uh, major institutions because they're suddenly realizing that they've been giving many millions of dollars to institutions that have become uh, institutionally uh, anti-Semitic. It's a growing dynamic that progressive Jews may find they have to push through the pain in order to confront. David Brody, CBN News, Washington.